COVID-19 is also impacting veterinarians in the tri-state region. We want to prepare pet owners for the changes and some have questions about how the virus could affect their pets. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco was in College Hill to help navigate the uncertainty. If you contract COVID-19, you probably want to have someone else watch after your dog or cat because doctors here say they're just not certain yet if our pets can carry and spread the virus. They're such a large part of our lives. Well, you come into such close contact with your pets, you're snuggling with them all the time and um, saliva. My dog's constantly licking me. Pet owners want to know, can our pets carry COVID-19 and spread it to us? We haven't found that that's true yet. Dr. Joseph Stratman has been practicing for decades in College Hill. He says it's possible the virus could live in an animal's fur. I suppose it's possible, but you should man, you should be doing major routine hygiene stuff anyway. If you're out there handling petting your dog, but you're washing your hands regularly, you are not touching your face, doing the things that you're supposed to be doing for general control anyway, your risk is minimal. If you contract COVID-19, the CDC says let someone else watch your pets to minimize the possibility of spreading the virus through the animal. But there's no evidence your pet can get sick from it. As far as we know, animals don't get this virus, okay? I called dozens of veterinarian clinics across greater Cincinnati. All are requiring customers to wait outside and let a tech bring in the pet. I spoke with those waiting here. So I had to stop by and pick up the medication and also stock up on my other cats dry cat food. Doctors say call before you come. It's uh, smart. I think they're doing the right thing. Again, the CDC has not received any reports that your pets can get COVID-19. Reporting in Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.